All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another one of my Rail Oviedo career mode episodes. It's episode 12, and first off, you might notice for the first time, I'm not wearing my classic blue Rail Oviedo home kit and scarf. That's because the club have sent me this beautiful training shirt. It's this season's training shirt, and it's initialed Spencer Owen. Thank you very much, guys. Once again, the club have helped me with this series. They've been sharing the episodes. They've been filming stuff for me to actually put in the episodes. I'm sure you've seen that in earlier episodes. And now they've sent me a shirt. So drop a like on the video if you're loving the fact that Real Oviedo are supporting this series. Now, before we jump into some more games, let's take a look at what I've been doing since the last episode. Well, the first bit of business I did was saying goodbye to Hector Font. I sold him. I got a reasonably good offer for him. He's not young anymore. He's into his 30s. He, he did okay for me in the Liga Adelante, but I'm not sure if he can handle it in the BBVA, so I've let him go. And then it was a case of bringing someone in, and I had a few options. I was looking at Abdelek Nori as a cam. I was looking at Ryan Gould as a cam option as well. And I was also looking at the centre mid option of Ruben Loftus-Cheek from Chelsea. Now, these were all going to be bought in as a loan, except Nauri and Loftus-Cheek would have an option to buy them at the end of the the uh, contract, a two-year loan, gold would have just been a loan. So I was thinking about that when I was deciding which one to go with. I only needed one of them. And even though Ryan Gould's got the best potential and he's probably the best overall stats, I wasn't going to get to keep him at the end. I wanted to grow a player that was mine. So I went with Nori, who I think is going to be really decent eventually. Maybe not straight away, though. The next piece of action was Kone turning down my contract extension offer. He was asking for a little bit more money than I wanted to give. He's not really a starter anymore. I do want to keep him because he's one of the originals and he is a useful player. Uh, especially off the bench. But if, if we can't come to some sort of agreement, he may have to go at the end of his contract, which is at the end of next season. So we'll still have two more years with him. And finally, some more youngsters became eligible to be signed on a proper contract. The Miguel guys here, I don't think they're brothers, but they've got the same surname, look really good. One's a goalkeeper, one's like a centre attacking midfielder sort of thing. They've got a lot of potential, so hopefully we can train them up and get them nice and decent in the future. Anyway, let's get into some games. I was playing Getafe first at home. Ruben Neves had a great chance here. Hits it, and it cannons off the crossbar. I'm Lucky Ruben. We did eventually get a breakthrough though in the 75th minute. Ball came through to Sergi Sampa who shot from a tight angle but the keeper had a mare. We're 1-0 up baby. Yes Sergi. I did however give away a penalty in the last few minutes of the game but wait for it. Bang. Julian saved it. He stood his ground and he delivered. And that was the final whistle. We get another win in the top flight of Spanish football. It's looking okay right now. We're under the cosh a bit more than I'm used to but we're grinding out results. Next up, I was away against Sevilla. These guys are a decent team, but Iheanacho goes through. Look at that individual goal from the new kid. He could be powerful for us. He could be a game changer. He's done very well there to get a goal against a team as good as Sevilla. And in the last few seconds of the game, we actually came really close again. Look at that, hitting the bar from that corner there. It wasn't to be, though. We couldn't get the goal, but we took the 1-0 victory, which was decent. I was happy with that. Another three points in the top flight. Everything's going really well. Again, though, our goalkeeper getting man of the match. Next up, we were against Rayo Vallecano here. Borja Valle went through in the first half, bangs it. It comes off the woodwork again. Unfortunately, we didn't get the goal. And in the second half, went through in the very last seconds. Rahman off the bench as the sub puts in another youngster. Oh, he hits it and the keeper saves it. And he can't get it in the back of the net. And it ends up nil, nil. It is a draw. And yes, that's right. Once again, our keeper gets man of the match for the third game in a row. What a signing he's proving to be. Okay, so now we're all caught up and up to date. This is the league table. We are currently in sixth position. We haven't lost in the BBVA yet. The top flight of Spanish league football. We're unbeaten. Hopefully we can keep that going. We haven't actually conceded a goal yet. So I'm loving life. All the board have asked me to do is avoid relegation. So I'm bang on for that. My next game's a big one. It's away against Atletico Madrid, one of La Liga's biggest clubs. Can I deal with them? How are they doing in the league? They're actually struggling in 13th position, so I've got a chance. We're going with this team. You can see from the arrows that everyone's in very decent form. Let's play. We are the best defensive team in the league. Remember that, boys. Henry, run away down this left-hand side. You've got the pace. They can't catch you, Henry. Come on, cut back in. Lovely, Henry. Keep it. Oh, brilliant from the young left back. Look what he's done here. He's still going. He's going to play it into Iheanacho. Iheanacho to Kone on the right-hand side. Oh, he's lost it. Wow. 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 What a save. Did you see the way his hands moved then? That was crazy. Iheanacho. Up to Sampa. To Ruben Neves. Here we go, Ruben. Come on, Ruben. Cut inside. Beautiful footwork from Ruben. Oh, Ruben. Neves. You've got to score that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's going to go through. Okay, not good. We're 1-0 down. Pretty poor defending for me here. They cut me open. This guy had way too much time. Nothing Julian can do with that one. Close it down. Close it down. Oh, for crying out loud, they're ripping me apart. We're 2-0 down. We conceded our first goals, obviously, in the league, and we could be 
taking now first loss as well. Great goal from them here. Look at this. They just mugged me off in a massive way. One, two, bang. Oh, dear. Nori, play that in behind for Iheanacho. Iheanacho, cut in. Back to Nori. Nori, touch. Get it out your feet, son. There's the final whistle. You know what? Madrid, Atletico Madrid were the deserved winners there. And part of coping with life in the top flight is going to mean coping with playing big teams like that and learning how to not lose against them. So it's a journey we're on here. Our first loss, but a very good start to the season still. Okay, speaking of big games, the next one is the biggest of all. At home against Real Madrid. It's Real Oviedo against Real Madrid. Who will win? Let's find out. Here we go. It's the big one. Look at that. The crowd are up for it. They've got the banners out. Come on, boys. Real Madrid are currently only in fifth place. We've dropped down to eighth. This is tight. James Rodriguez is the player to watch. He's not got any goals this season yet, but we know what he's capable of. There he is. Okay, I'm watching you, James. I'm playing the same 11 I played last game. Even though we lost, I'm giving these 11 players another chance. If they disappoint me again, we'll look at changing it up. Maybe changing the formation as well. As for the Real Madrid team, I mean, it is just peppered with quality. They've even added Thomas Muller to the team. Although no Ronaldo for them, which is interesting. It's good for me, let's face it. Come on, boys. Let's do this. Let's get a result. A draw would be more than good enough. I'll take it. I'll take it all the way to the bank. Chambers playing down the line for Kone. It's a good ball. Kone, look after that ball. Just go back if you have to. I want to keep possession for as long as possible. Great tackle from Kone. And now he can break. Kone into Erdegaard. Come on, boys. Erdegaard, play Kone. Come on, lads. We've got this. Kone, big touch. Do it. Do it, Kone. Play it in to Iheanacho. Bang, bang. Beautiful football. Bergwin, Bergwin. No. That was such good play. We didn't get the goal. Okay, right on half time, I'll give them a free kick in a pretty dangerous area. I'm hoping they don't punish me here. Wow, they almost did. Come on, boys. Can we hit them on the break? Oh, keep going. Bergwin to Erdegaard. Erdegaard, hold on to that ball. Well done. Iheanacho, play it inside. To Neves. Neves, little one. To Sampa. Sampa. To Kone. Kone. Get it on that strong foot. Hit it, Kone. Kone. We've gone 1-0 up against Real Madrid. This is the Cinderella story of Real Oviedo. Come on, boys. Let's keep this going. Let's get a magnificent win against Los Blancos. Kone. What a man. You've been with me from the start. One of the few remaining players. Well done. Okay, they've brought Ronaldo on off the bench. All right, now they mean business. Come on, lads. Hold it tight. Sergio Aguero's come on now as well. They didn't start Aguero or Ronaldo against me. That's quite insulting. They thought they could do without those boys against Oviedo. Hopefully I'm proving them wrong. Iheanacho has spread it to Erdegaard. Erdegaard, play it back to Iheanacho. Come on. Let's hit him on the break, Iheanacho. You've got the pace. Make it two. Make it two. Iheanacho's going to do it. Iheanacho should have made it two. Iheanacho, that's beautiful. And now we take it to the corner flags, boys. Come on. This will be a massive win for us now. History is a club. Barrios, Beautiful. Don't lose it, Barrios. Off the bench to Sergi Sampa. They've committed players now. We've got an overlapping man. It's Ruben Neves who strikes it and makes it 2-0 in the 89th minute. That's what I'm talking about, boys. Real Oviedo are here to stay. We're not here to make up the numbers. We're coming for the big boys. Great breakaway started with the young substitute, Barrios, who came on for Erdegaard. Sampa played it through to Neves and Neves banged it. Yes, there's the final whistle. What a turn up for the books. Real Oviedo 2, Real Madrid 0. Shows you the difference between playing at home or away. Because away, Atletico Madrid dominated us. But at home, we more than held our own against Madrid. Sergi Sampa got an 8 out of the 10 man of the match. Goals for Kone and Neves. Two assists for Sampa. Now, I've signed this new kid. He's called Caldara. He came in 16 years old at 60 rated. He's already got up to 61 rated. I haven't even played him or trained him or anything. So he's got a lot of potential. I'm going to put a lot of training towards this guy, Caldara, now. Okay, next up, I'm away against Granada. Now let's take a look at the league table. You can see that win against Madrid has pushed me up to fourth place. Meanwhile, Granada are down in 15th. So I'd like to think I can get a win here, even though I'm away. Changing things up a little bit here. I'm going to use a 4 3 3, which is actually what I swapped to against Madrid and worked quite well for me. Kone, right wing. Bergwin, left wing. Iheanacho up top. Neves is that holding midfielder. Come on. Bergwin. Tiernacho. Erdegaard. Looks for Sampa. Sampa. Yes, lovely football. Here's Erdegaard. Look for that through ball. It's beautiful. Iheanacho's going to score. You've got to put that away, Iheanacho. He's getting silly now. He had one of them last chance as well. Erdegaard. Martin. Erdegaard. Still going. Get it on your left foot. Erdegaard. Hit it. Martin. Erdegaard. He's got it in his locker. He doesn't bring it out of his locker as much as I'd like him to. But when it does... Oh my god, that locker is special. Look at Martin Erdegaard here. He gets it onto his right foot. Then I remembered that he's left footed in the game. So I'll get back on his left foot and bang. Wowie woo wah. Goalkeeper's kicked it straight to Rahman, who's off the bench. And it's the easiest goal you're ever going to score. You do not see that happen a lot. 
from the computer on AI. That's something that people online make all the, all the time, those sort of mistakes, but not the AI, especially not in world class, but he just kicked it straight to him. Rahman is so rapid, he's fresh off the bench. Literally his first touch of the ball is the control he did before he put it in the back of the net. So welcome to the team, Rahman. Ian Atcho, you better raise your game or else this kid's coming for you. What a strike into an open goal. There's the final whistle, another solid 2-0 victory. Okay guys, well that is when we're gonna leave this episode. You can see we're sitting pretty in third place in La Liga. I didn't expect us to take off quite as quick in the top flight, but we're doing really well, so I'm very happy with that. Next episode, we've got some huge games, including our first cup game against our big rival, Sporting Gijon, and league matches against Barcelona and Valencia. So make sure you tune in for the next episode. Drop a like on this one if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. I'll see you next time, but until then, don't go changing.